Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's the Radicator, and in this video we'll be talking about a game that I have recently added to my wishlist on Steam, and I would like to believe that this is the realistic equivalent of Valheim, which is of course one of the hottest games there is right now, and I made a video recently explaining why I am not interested in Valheim, because I am not excited about playing as the Vikings, but especially because I am not a big fan of magics in my video games, and well, it turns out that Frozenheim takes the same concept as Valheim, meaning that you have to manage your own Viking tribe and make it thrive in a survival type of gameplay environment. The main difference here being that there are no magics and that the gameplay is going to revolve on actual environmental and historical properties, and that is something that speaks to me much more. So, let's have a look at Frozenheim and what it will offer, when it will come out, and at what format. And well, let me be entirely frank with you guys, the first thing that caught my interest were not really the photorealistic graphics that the title will offer, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later, but it was actually a disclaimer written at the bottom of the Steam page, a mature content description that stipulates that the game contains realistic representations of physical conflicts, death, and injury. That scored a home run for me, as I'm always looking for realism. Realism to me leads to immersion, immersion leads to escapism, and escapism leads to me having a good time when I'm playing a video game. And that is what I am looking for in video, video gaming, and it was after seeing that disclaimer that I started having a deeper look at what Frozenheim is about. So, the game is slated for an early access release on May the 20th, 2021, and the devs have also stated that the price will increase as more features get regularly added, which is going to be a nice way for early adopters to get access to the game at a cheaper price. According to the developers, Frozenheim will be a serene North city builder that offers elaborate management mechanics and multiple progression trees to balance as you maintain and expand your settlement. Prepare for brutal RTS combat that will put your tactical skill into test. As you launch exploration parties on foot and by boats, you will not only discover resources that you can exploit, but also draw the attention of enemies who will seek to destroy you. To prove yourself an earl worthy of sagas, you will have to build and expand the Viking village from nothing to a rich, unconquerable settlement. Forage, hunt, fish, and grow your food and keep your clan safe as seasons pass. Find your own progression path as you will learn to utilize new buildings and units. Explore the fjords of Midgard, which, according to ancient Germanic and Norse mythology, was the way these ancient people called the land inhabited by humans. Launch raid parties on foot or set sail with your drakars. Seek the blessing of ancient shrines and build temples to win the favor of Asgard. Raid or the player or form alliances with them in multiplayer matches and capture the raw beauty of the frozen north in photo mode. And that last aspect is also a seller for me. As much as I respect the gameplay featured in Valheim, which again is not my cup of tea but I really understand why it appeals to a lot of people, I also find the graphics a little dated, especially as in 2021 we are certainly capable of aiming at photorealism, and I am glad to see that this is something that the developers of this game are trying to achieve. And it really looks good. The water effects look breathtaking, the weather effects look dramatic and it really feels like we are looking at a faithfully recreating, uh, recreated battles when we take a look at the combat footage from the promotion images that are put at our disposal on Steam. And on top of that, the devs also posted a short Q&A that aims at giving more details about the game. For example, they're asking why is there going to be early access, and here they say that we believe that a game like Frozenheim can benefit greatly from maintaining open communication and receiving player feedback before its full launch. Uh, they also giving us more information about how long this will take, uh, how long this game will stay in early access, sorry, and here they say that they have uh, six months of updates scheduled following the early access launch, which would then lead to a full launch at the beginning of 2022. They are also answering the question as of how will the full version planned differ to the early access version. Here they say that the initial early access launch focuses on free play and multiplayer. They are going to gradually add content and features so that Frozen High will offer a full single player campaign 
upon full launch. Yes, hooray for single players here. Uh, what is the current state of the early access version? They say here that the game is currently playable in single player and multiplayer modes, focusing on the free play type scenarios. They are also telling us on whether or not the game will be priced differently during and after the early access. And as mentioned earlier, they say that they do plan to gradually raise the price as they ship new content and features. They also give more details on how they are going to plan to involve the community into development process. And here they said that the player's feedback is important in the development process of Frozen Time. Uh, at every step, they will be actively taking, uh, talking to the gamers here and in the Steam Hub as well as on the Discord channel. So there we have it, guys. Frozen Ham, an alternative to Varham that will be closely, closely watched on this channel. And as far as I'm concerned, I have already put it in my wish list, and I do plan to play it by the end of May and show you some gameplay footage on the channel as well. But please let me know in the comment down section too, guys. What do you think of what you just saw? Would you both play Valheim and Frozenheim? Or will you, st will you stick to Valheim? Or will you try this new title? Tell me everything. And that is now the end of this video, guys. Have a wonderful day and thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And also, please help out the channel by clicking on that subscribe button too. So far, we've been doing very well this month. So let's keep it up and let's get to a thousand subscribers by the time Frozenheim gets released. This is the Eradicator and I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts at just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.